Welcome back. This is the first year that I've run a 360, Mega 360 on my boat, and I was just going to kind of give you some of my opinions on it. Um, setup was so-so. It took me a little bit to, to get some of the settings right to after I installed it. Um, that was a little difficult. If you know Hummingbird's like more like an Apple, it's like plug and play, so you, there's not a lot of stuff you can do in the settings to get it to go. You have to do things right the way they want it to uh, for the 360 to go compared to like Lorance where you select things. That's not necessarily true for Hummingbird, but uh, it's the first year I ran it. Um, I got the, I already had the Hummingbird Helix 10 is what I used for the year. Um, so it was easy. I already had the graph, so I hooked up, um, just had to run some wires. Fairly easy to mount. My hardest part was I had it backwards because I had the narrow end to the front, and it should be the bigger end pointed to the front. So that one was on me, but once I got that corrected, made it for structures and stuff. Um, made it for structures, seeing structure and cover and stuff like that way easier. I will give it that. So what's a Mega 360? Just the Mega 360, I think I paid like 1100, 12, 1300 bucks. 1100, 1200 bucks. Um, in today's world, that's not so bad. Uh, it is definitely an added cost. Um, so it was the first year I ran it. Um, I liked it. Um, people ask me, you know, do I like 360 compared to live scope? Um, if I had my choice, I'd go with the live scope. So much more. Um, but it depends how you fish. I'll make another video on this if people like this one. But so it was my first year running it. Um, I was really, it really helps you get orientated if you're a person that's very specific, likes to cast to a spot, likes to see what's down there, how far the weed line is away from you. Um, for sure, it definitely helps out on that. It helps out on points. Just being able to get a good casting angle where you're, you're casting at, what you're casting at, um, it definitely draws that off. I didn't mess with the settings too much because I'm not specifically looking at stuff so much. I'm not looking for fish. It's more like, for me, it's looking for structure or like weed lines or how the bottom's laid out in front of me. Sometimes behind me, um, there's stuff I saw throughout the year. Somebody would have to correct me in this video if I can waypoint um, when I'm looking at my 360. I wasn't able to do that. Uh, I probably got to research that. But that was one downfall of it is I would see stuff on there and I tried to waypoint and I couldn't do it. I, um, I just might not know what I was doing for that one. And I didn't mess with the settings. The settings I had on there were pretty close to what I wanted. So yeah, I ran the 360 for a heel full year. Uh, here's some quick images. This is the first day I put it on. I just went out and checked around. So yeah, from these images, you can see I was just fishing points with bluegill beds. Um, and they were absolutely loaded on there. They were post-spawn. There was a bunch of fish there, but they're just little peanuts right there. The females hadn't really moved out, or males. So that was my thoughts. Um, you have to decide what you want in today's world of technology. A thousand, two thousand dollars isn't like the most amount of breaking the bank. For me personally, that's a pretty solid amount of chunk of change just for a little bit, you know. If you're looking for every advantage you can get, I would definitely go with the 360. Um, if you just want to know structure more, you're a very oriented person of how you're casting and stuff like that, um, this is definitely what you want. Um, you can see rocks, you can see the ends of points, you can you can see uh, I was on Mille Lacs in the fall and I could watch as the rocks came down and then there'd be sparse rocks going out and you can see the bigger rocks. but that doesn't necessarily catch you more fish. It helps a little bit. Does it, if I had my choice on Mille Lacs, if it was live scope or 360, I'd take the live scope for sure. Um, 
Does it give you a little bit more of an advantage across somebody else? Yes. You can distinguish a little bit more. You can see a bottom content, uh, points and stuff, for sure more than what you could. Um, you can see weeds and how far they are to the boat compared to just pulling uh, the old school style worming and stuff like that. So that advantage is up to you as to what, if that's the way that you fish, if you have the money to do it, that's what it's about. I wouldn't say it's about targeting in a fish, individual fish like live scope. Um, 360 is just giving you a better picture of the image. It helps you out more. It helps you understand the bottom faster, easier. If it's a place you fished a bunch of times and there's a big rock out however many feet, you can distinguish that because the live scope gives you this, the plane of what's going on there and you can get to that angle and cast to it. If that casting angle, you know, that kind of stuff's more and more important for uh, today's anglers because it's getting tough out there, especially up here in the North Country and uh, very uh, structure related small little details small little details will help you out but my biggest tournament uh, tournament I didn't use it a whole ton it just gives you a little bit better of a picture and if the amount of money that you got to give for 360 to give you a little bit more of a picture to know what you're doing and you're a deep fisherman I would say you know it's a big deal for that kind of stuff if that's your kind of fishing but if you if a thousand, two thousand dollars is a lot to put down, I'm not for sure that I would technically do that. So, um, I hope, I hope this helps you. Uh, that's my thoughts throughout the year. I only ran a 10 inch screen. It wasn't the biggest. I also ran with a little bit of mapping because I only run two screens in my boat, the live scope and then the 360 with this. In fact, I didn't even use sonar this year, which was a little weird for me, but definitely gives you a little bit of advantage but that's a lot of money to put down for that if it was me I would just go with the live scope so so I went through that whole thing and then I realized um, 360 has been out for a long time mega imaging is the one that's came out recently to give you a clearer picture and uh, it's nothing new I, I've saw people fishing with them for a long time I just never quite had the money or thought it was too much for me. And this year I finally, technology right now in the fishing world is just unreal. Like it's just blowing up. So uh, to not get 360 on the boat, especially the way that I like to fish, I, I had to, you know. I think that uh, gives you that much more of an advantage, that much more reading. Um, I was a little afraid to at first that there's too much information coming to me. But I was still able to fish my style. I was still able to, you know, read what I wanted to, be able to read the water and whatever else, even with that going on, and to read the fish. So that was a big thing. So let me know what your thoughts are, what you think on 360 if you watch this all the way through. But um, to me, that, that's, my, that's my opinion. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm going to have some more of these um, coming up. We'll see if you guys like them.